Hello everybody, welcome. This is Salvador Peláez and you're watching a video tutorial on vocals. Okay, so on this video right away we're going to be showing you how to record your vocals and in real time have reverb while you track in your voice or your client and they ask him for this reverb because if they don't have a reverb they're just gonna die, right? And you're like, oh my gosh, you're pulling your hair and the thing, the things that you got to do, I'm going to show you right now and just cut through the chase and get right into it. Okay. This is not going to print into the audio, no matter what you do, unless you put in rev a reverb on the insert of your input channel. Okay. Your input channel on the mixer console has inserts where you can actually add plugins and print the plugin into the audio and there's no way to turn that back in time. All right. So let's get right to it and start with this video. All right. So the first thing that you got to do, I have my uh, track here where you can listen to me. I'm going to go over here into my device setup and I'm going to go into my interface and I'm going to see here, I'm going to click on my control panel, right? And you're going to bring down your buffers all the way down, right? I'm pretty sure your computer can handle it at this point in time in life, right? Or maybe to five milliseconds should be fine. I'm just going to bring it all the way down. Okay. And that gives me a lot of, uh, short latency. As you can see here, I have two, about three milliseconds of, uh, latency. If you have a UR interface from Steinberg, you have DSP built in into it and you can use that to track your your talent your artist singing using the dsp built in into the interface and you can do that by doing direct monitoring and then activating the the hardware on your input and having that reverb running while the person is singing but that audio will not be printed no matter what the only thing that can be printed from the dsp chip is the eq compression uh channel morphing that comes with the unit. Okay. So right away, so we have our inter our interface set up with very low latency. So you don't get any crazy delays. And then we're going to add a track here for the artist. And for example, you have your whole project open, <clears throat> excuse me. And we're going to click right over here and we're going to have a mono track. We're going to name it Vox. Boom, there it is. And I can track in there as well. And now I'm going to add, <clears throat> excuse me. And we are going to add a FX channel. And we're going to go through Steinberg stuff just to be on the safe side because you might not have all of these things in your computer. So we're going to go Steinberg, Reverb, and I will load the cheapest one, which is Roomworks SE that comes with every version of Cubase. <clears throat> And we'll name it. There we go. You get this little guy over here. Pretty delay. I'll leave it right there. We'll give uh, plenty of time on our river because we want a big room just because, right? We'll diffuse the room. And we're going to EQ a little bit here with a low pass and high pass. You could go through all the presets and load your presets and say okay so this is how you do to create this particular sound and then you learn so it's very good to have presets okay there's nothing wrong with going through the presets once you learn certain presets by the end of the week or the month or whatever depending on your uh, abilities you won't go through the presets ever again but it's but it's a good thing to have on any plugin especially for beginners okay so here we go. Now I'm going to go and set this track to record. I'm going to open my editor and on the send, I'm going to click right over here and activate my reverb. Testing one, two, here we go. There you are. So now I'm going to set my stylus all the way to the end. I'm using OBS studio and for some reason doesn't record the stylus when I press play or record in Cubase 
uh, it's probably my video card, which I'm going to replace very soon. Okay. So I'm going to start playing and I'm going to start recording. Testing, one, two, testing. Hey, hey, hey. That's right. Use QAs, everybody. If you're not using QAs, you're wasting your time. That simple. All right? And I think that's pretty much nonsense said. Here we go. Now, we are going to play this stuff back and we are going to turn on and off the reverb okay so you can see that you can record your vocalist while listening to reverb and the person will be happy and then you can you know then later on tweak it change it to any other particular uh, reverb that you want to use the RevX, the um, reverence the revelation any ir impulse reverb whatever you have there's a bunch of free reverb plugins that you could get as well right from tall and uh, whatnot okay so now i'm gonna play back and that's a person trying to contact me testing one two testing hey 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 that's right use qas everybody if you're not using qas you're wasting your time use qas everybody if you're not using qas you're wasting your time that simple all right and i think that's pretty much i hope this was helpful and uh, you get <clears throat> so sorry about that you get an idea on how to set up your cubase uh and have real-time monitoring through cubase if not you can use your direct monitoring of your interface and that way you have zero latency okay and if your interface doesn't have built-in dsp then you do what i just showed you here okay i think that wraps it up i believe i have demonstrated this uh truthfully and i uh, hope this helps you guys if you have questions and you want to see more videos on uh, things like this you can drop a line be nice or i won't do anything <laughs> Alrighty guys, take care, have a blessed day, and see you next time.